What's going on everybody? Beastly Gamer here. Today I want to talk to you guys about the awesome new PlayStation 4 update 2.50. Now with this update you get lots and lots of new features for your PlayStation 4 and you also get some not so great ones. So I want to go through the list and let you guys know what all you can expect with this new update. First of all, one of the biggest new features is the ability to suspend and resume any game right at the spot where you want to. So say for instance you're playing a game like this, Bloodborne, and you're far away from a save point and you don't think you'll make it to one before you pass out. You can actually now put your PlayStation 4 in rest mode and resume the game at that exact moment when you turn the PS4 back on. I think that's really awesome. Another great feature is the ability to back up and restore data from your PlayStation 4 directly to an external USB hard drive source. So you can take games off your PS4, you can take movies off your PS4, you can take uh, pictures off your PS4, any kind of data, and transfer it to an external hard drive now, or and you can restore it back to your PS4 anytime you want. I think that's really great for people like me who have PlayStation 4s with no space left, because 500 gigs is really nothing. Another feature is all they have implemented new ways to find friends and play with your friends. Now there's a Facebook friend finder. Uh, using your linked account, you can expand your network by searching and connecting with your Facebook friends. It's a new thing. I'm on Facebook from time to time, not very often, but I know a lot of you guys in the gaming world are in Facebook a lot, and uh, this might be handy, so that's a new thing. Another new thing they have is improved friend requests. Now, friend requests and real name friend requests have they can be sent together so you can request someone's real name and you can send a friend request at the same time which I guess is pretty cool I've never <laughs> volunteered my real name I don't even know why people do that but I guess it's a new thing uh, there is streamlined party process now the process to create a party has been streamlined with a reduction in the number of steps required uh, I think Xbox one needs to learn something from this there was only about three steps that I know of that, that uh, you use to create a party. So if they streamline this, it might only be one or two button presses to uh, start a party. I think that's pretty awesome. Now, you can find friends who play the same games you're playing. You can easily view, easily view what friends are playing on each game detail page with a real-time friends who play this section which also highlights which friends are currently online and playing it and if you own the game allows you to jump directly into the game that's awesome a new uh, section under every game you can see all your friends who are actually playing it you can push a button and join them on that game that's really really awesome now you can join friends directly from the news feed this is another great feature a new tile will be added to the what's new feed where you can see what your friends are currently playing enabling you to join in the game if you own it that's really cool you know one bre one button press and uh, you join your friends uh, just based on seeing them actually playing in the new news feed now they've also added some new trophy integration that to me is probably the the weakest part of this update but I know lots of you guys are really trophy whores and you like your trophies and you like to have them a certain way so here's some new trophy features now there's an automatic trophy screenshot every time you get a new trophy the PS4 will save that image so you can show all your disbelieving friends uh, your new trophy that's a, a great new feature for people who are really into trophies now you can share your trophies uh, on their Facebook app the Twitter app or via messaging which is pretty cool there are additional trophy sorting options now you can sort your trophy list by earned date and not earned and grade so there's three different uh, sorting options for your trophies now you can delete zero percent trophies which <laughs> lots of us have I have lots of games on my PlayStation Network with zero percent now you can delete all those to consolidate space and that's the trophy stuff now they have improved and expanded the accessibility options and the accessibility options are right next to the settings or they're actually in the settings I'm sorry and uh, customized button assignments are the number one thing that they've added and I think this is probably the biggest addition to this update now you can use your DualShock 4 and basically turn it into uh, a modified controller you can change the the button layout you can turn your triangles into circles and your ups into downs and basically turn your ps4 controller into a scuff controller because it'll play however you want it to play i think that's pretty awesome they have also added zoom for displays pictures and uh, inverted colors for all system functions 
which I guess you can use if you're really bored. They also added a new text-to-speech option, which is available for the message and party, and is only perform performed in English. So now you can talk in messages and in party chat, and it can be converted into, uh, your text will be converted to speech. In large text for all graphical user interfaces, including message and party, as well as system browsers, so that's for people who can't see too well, bolder fonts, and higher contrast UI for all system applications. So that's just some new uh, new visualizations for the PlayStation 4 UI, which is pretty cool. Uh, remote play and share play got a nice new update. Now, if you do share play or remote play, you would be aware that if you're playing a game that runs at 60 frames per second, and you do share play, the person who's actually taking the control from you can only play the game at a downgraded uh, frame rate. Now they fixed that. If a person's doing share play or you're doing remote play, the game, if it's running at 60 frames per second, will now actually be played in 60 frames per second on your Vita or the person who's share playing with you. So that's actually pretty cool. Uh, now you can do an automatic installation of system updates. That's pretty cool. Uh, people who have sub PlayStation accounts, these are people who opened up PlayStation accounts when they were kids and Sony wouldn't allow them to have full control of the account because they were underage and there are some restrictions on those accounts. Now you can upgrade your sub account to an adult account and grow up on PlayStation. And uh, last but not least, there's Daily Motion functionality. Now you can upload video clips directly to Daily Motion uh, via the share button. Those are some of the new options with update 2.50. Let me know what you guys think about this update. I personally think it's pretty damn good. I really like the suspend resume feature and I also think that the button configuration or changing your controller is going to come in handy with lots and lots of games. You guys let me know what you think about it. As always, thanks for all the support. If you guys are new, hit that subscribe button. I'm the Beastly Gamer and I'll see you guys next time.